Welcome back to Behind the Eye of Odin. I'm your host, Eric. Now, this this time we're going to be talking about Suelu. Suelu is the rune of... Well, it, Suelu is the sun. Uh, its, its energies include health, happiness, good fortune. Uh, in a very broad sense, it, it is the sun. In the springtime, the sun comes out and makes us happy. In the wintertime, it starts going away. And sometimes we get that seasonal bog down of, of no good. Well, this, the sun helps with that. So Suelu is, is very much a rune of happiness and fulfillment. And uh, when, a, when a situation comes together, as Hannibal used to say, I love it when a plan comes together. It's stuff like that. Suelu is very much... Things coming together, the fruition of your labors are at least visible when uh, when Suelu comes into into play. Uh, the the things that Suelu is is really in control of is things like you know enjoying uh, working you know along the way toward uh, uh, Wunjo. Wunjo is joy, as we've as we've been through before. Uh, Suelu is seeing that progress being made and enjoying those steps along the way. Now, uh, sometimes if Suelu is in a relatively neutral and or negative position in a reading, I've found that it can mean that you need to either look to your own health or whatever the situation is that is negative, if it's a negative, if, if the reading is coming out entirely negative and Suelu happens to come up, it's entirely possible that it means that you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself first. And another kind of side note, if it doesn't seem like it fits, then, and it happens to be like at the root, in the, in the one, two, three, four, in the fourth position, which is the root of the question in my Algi's reading, if Suelu is there, then the situation at hand and the problem seems to be entirely encompassing of your life. Uh, for example, I gave a reading to one of my family members uh, at the beginning of the year. I believe it was actually on the 1st at about 2 o'clock in the morning. But Suelu was, was in the root space and was the thing that was causing all of this problem. And it did, it did come out that, that it was right on, but the feeling that I got from that reading with Suelu in that position, and since it did come out to be a relatively negative reading, uh, was that whatever the issue at hand was, it was all-encompassing and just kind of seeped into every part of his life. Now, that's not always going to be the case, but just keep in mind that Suelu is is represented by the sun and its energies and it kind of feels and works the same way uh, in my experience that's that's usually how it is anyway but uh, Suelu as the sun it it comes out and it covers everything when the sun comes out everything is illuminated and as it's as it moves across the sky it seeps in and everything warms up and hopefully that's a good thing but if it's a negative thing, if it's if it's seemingly negative, then that that negativity seeping into everything is really really oppressive and hard to deal with. So, you know, just keep in mind that it is possible that Suelu can be a negative room or have a negative meaning. Generally speaking, however, it is it is the opposite. It's it's a happy kind of everything starting to work out and come together sort of a thing. But uh, next time we'll, we'll, we'll actually be starting on the third ant. We'll be starting with Burkana, and uh, Burkana is the first in the last ant. So rune number 17 next time. And until next time, thanks for watching, and Odin.